So the line-up for you is Wolfenden on the inside. We've got Matisega on gate two. Lebedev's out of gate number three and off the outside in yellow. Jason Doyle takes up. We're underway. Wolfenden's made a good start, but Lebedev's is there from gate number three. Look at Doyle! Brilliant. Oh, Doyle's off! Oh, down goes Wolfenden as well. That was tough. Jason just trying to maybe overcompensate to try and find a little bit more grip on the inside. Wise move, cut back on the first turn. Just lifted violently, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, I don't know if there was very, a rut or whether quick. the bike was too aggressive, maybe. Did seem to catch him out. Sense that uh, Straight over to the referee is Pavel Slupski. He'll have a decision to make. I think it's a fairly straightforward yeah, straight one. Forward, yeah, Jason, just the bike just lifted on him very, very quickly. Uh, good to see him back on their feet. Yeah. And uh, Jason Doyle almost certainly is going to be thrown out of heat number seven. See it again, Chris. Yeah, he makes a reasonable start. Then the bike snakes, and he's, that gives him the opportunity to cut back. Great move, but there yeah. he's just working the bike hard. He knows there's no dirt down on the inside. He's got to get off the corner. I think it looks like he maybe collects a rut. I'm really not sure. No, I think it's just the, the tyre catching up on him. He's probably just backing the throttle off, trying to find that little bit of extra traction, and he finds it just all a little bit too sudden. Yeah, disappointment then for Jason Doyle. Have we seen the exclusion light yet? Yeah, it's on. So he is out of the rerun. And we will have just the three of them. Ryan is making their way back. Ty Wolfenden just trudging his way off the track. So he's Jason Doyle. Um, uh, Sometimes I wonder whether Jason just tries a little bit too hard. You know, that was a really good move. I mean, Crocky yeah. very nearly pulled it off, but uh, possibly did he ask for too much too soon, maybe? Uh, maybe. I mean, you know, looking at gate four, it scored two points all night so far, so he knew he was up against it. And mm. uh, when he saw that opportunity, he went for it. And uh, I'm not quite sure why he got that much traction so suddenly, but um, you've got a feel for him. He's struggled in Poland his uh, last two outings with four points. And uh, a tough start so far tonight. Got two points in his first ride, looked reasonably settled. Riders, OK? It's not over. He's got three more opportunities, and he does have a base okay. to work from. And Martin Veselik is really in the doldrums with no points from his two rides so far, with a zero and a retirement. Uh, for Jason Doyle, he'll have a two and an exclusion, so he'll need to work hard to make sure that he moves forward to the... Semi-finals. So Ty Wolfman just having his helmet checked by the FIM official. Just to make sure there's no issues with that. But um, uh, I've got to say, Jason did do very well actually to get the bike down so quickly. Yeah, I mean, just just to stay on it for as long as he did. I mean, it, it turned right as it went up in the air. It was a really awkward position to be in. It was it was like a rodeo ball, wasn't it, at one mm. point there? But uh, you know, he knew that he couldn't afford to throw the bike away hard because it would have been much worse for Ty. So, uh, team working hard in the pitch to uh, get the bike back into shape for the rerun of heat number seven. Phil Morris will be down there keeping an eye on proceedings, giving riders the appropriate amount of time, particularly Ty Wilson, of course. He's the one that was involved in the incident. And uh, when he feels that all is well, he will then inform the referee, Pavel Slupski, that he can put the two-minute clock on. You have to be at tapes in FIM. It's now being adopted uh, in many of the leagues where you have to be ready at the tapes before the two minutes run down. Otherwise, you will be excluded. It's right now. Wolfenden just being given a few extra moments. Helmet back on. Here we go. Two minute clock is on. The countdown is on. Riders will be appearing very soon. And an important race here for Ty Wolfenden. Failing to score first time out. Needs to get amongst the points this time. Ideally, wants to hit the front. Yes, he does, yeah. He was off gate two in his uh, first ride, as you say, failed to score. He didn't actually make a bad start, uh, but he's got the inside gate. He's got to capitalise on that in this one. Yeah, he just made a small mistake, I think, going into turn three in his first ride, run off the line and found himself relegated to the back. Look how tight it is in that pit area. It really is quite claustrophobic. Yeah, you can trip over each other, but um, uh, they're back out. Heat number seven, the restart. Three of them. Three-time former world speedway champion Ty Wolfenden making his way the shortcut to the start line. Lebedevs is up there as well. And we're waiting for one more here. So Matty Zagar. Can't see him. The clock is uh, counting down. There's a minute to go, but uh, Zagar just taking a few extra moments to get himself prepared for the restart of number seven. 
Big race now. Ty Wolfenden, who has had some good scores in the UK, struggled a little bit last night with two wins and two lasts, but uh, nonetheless, just sense if he can get his nose in front, that will help immensely. Zagar's there now with 40 seconds to spare. So uh, riders will make their way forward. Lebedevs was in the thick of the action. Yeah, Often is. Yep. Often is, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say he was, he was riding it, head pace. Indeed. So, um, uh, as I say, encouraging signs for all the five newcomers so far this evening. In particular, you've got to say that uh, Kai Hulkenbeck on four points from two rides would be chuffed to bits with that. That's a really strong start for him. And uh, Robert Lambert, though, leading the Grand Prix from Bartosz Schmarslik. Six points for Lambert, five points for the world champion so far. A major surprise there. Here we go, then. Second time of asking for heat number seven. It's Wuffenden, Zagar, Lebedev, Zalagate number three. Long, long pause here. Green light hasn't come on. Oh, what's going on here? Problem with the green light, I think. Yep. Not quite sure what's gone on there. So riders coming forward once again. It's Wolfenden off the inside in red. Gate number two in blue is Matty Zago, and gate number three in white is Andre Lebedev's. No rider off the outside. Jason Gordon is excluded. Restart. Heat number seven takes her up. We're away. Zago's made a lovely start out of gate two. He fires himself to the front. Here comes Lebedev around the outside of Wolfenden. Lebedev's pushing hard up the inside. Too close. Yeah. Red lights are on. You can totally almost see that happening as he was Actually, going Actually, the referee, straight. referee may have acted a little quickly there because Lebedevs was up and getting the bike off, but uh, just went for a move that just wasn't on, in truth. Uh, Zagar's an experienced campaigner. There was no way he was going to leave enough room for him to come under, underneath him. Oh, Looks like we're going to go down to two here. Yeah, this is... Uh... It's doing, a, it's doing a favour, actually, for both of the riders that are going to remain. It's effectively a match race now, as it'll be the third time. But for Lebedevs, just a slight misjudgment going into turn three. Yeah, he's, uh, he just didn't quite carry enough speed down the straight. Didn't, I don't think even Zagar even knew that he was actually sort of making a challenge until it was all a bit too late. Zagar kept it down low, and well, Lebedevs, just the bike just straightened up on him. I think maybe he just got off the throttle because he thought he was going to run into him, and then, of course, these bikes will actually sort of straighten up on you, and that made it worse. There, he's... He's almost not committed enough. And then, yeah, he gets off the gas, straightens the bike up, runs into the back. His own error. Oh, been... went down hard, too. Could have been worse, actually. Yeah, could have been. Could, could have been, been worse. He's a Messier. strong boy, Lebedevs. Real yeah. strong boy. Yeah. And uh, he's done... He's done well to kind of get away with it. He's got know? lucky there with his leg wrapped around the handlebars. That could have been much worse. But, yeah, he gets, gets off the gas. Exclusion lights on. Lebedevs is uh, excluded from heat number seven, so we are reduced now to two riders. Lebedevs uh, is getting a round of applause as he makes his way back to the pit area, but he'll be frustrated. He does that a little bit. We saw that with him last year, where he's uh, very enthusiastic, but sometimes his judgment is slightly off. Well, it was only all, a fraction. Only it a fraction. was almost like he couldn't make his mind up whether to keep going or not. And it was that indecision that actually ended up causing him to crash into I think it. you've just nailed that. Yeah. Absolutely. You could see that with a... I can do it. No. Oh, oh maybe. yes, I can. Oh, oh no, no, too no, late. I haven't. I'm off. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, but um, uh, good to see him back on his feet, and we'll see more from him, I'm sure, as the evening goes on. Handy for Wuffenden and uh, Zagar, because Zagar had got away nicely there. And Wolfenden was back in third, so at the worst, as long as they complete four laps here, Ty Wolfenden, after failing to score, will have the opportunity for two. He'll be looking for a win, of course he will. But uh, an attritional race here, heat number Very seven, isn't so. it? Yeah. I uh, just hope we can get two riders finishing it now. Oh, would be good. Zagar, who uh, picked up a point first time out without a steel shoe, looking to improve there. Bike was uh, sharp away from the tapes, as I say, a man without a club. So how much racing he's done? I suspect he's done very little. Very, very little. I very think. little, so uh, it doesn't look off the pace. Uh, admittedly, it's a track he knows very well. He's won some GP challenges here, so he uh, and he only lives just across the border in Slovenia. So, um, uh, so um, we can see just exactly what's going on with uh, Lambert out in front, Smarslik on five have a look out for your favorite rider there and see what they've done in their first ride or two keep an eye on where they're going 
quite a long time actually we're taking for heat number seven but this is the third time of asking and the riders are pretty tight there there's not too much room between them here we go then third time of asking takes her up this time Wolfram has absolutely nailed that that's more like it just needs to do that first time He's out in front, Ty Wolfenden taking full advantage of the restart there. Take our back in second place. And look at Wolfenden, now he's got his nose in front. He looks really quick and that's what we want to see. Yeah, I think Ty would have been a bit frustrated by his first two starts because the bike isn't far off, it just wasn't pulling him to the corner. But that time, his uh, reaction probably was slightly behind Zagar's, but the bike went all the way to the corner and uh, certainly seems to have speed. And not sure, knowing he's guaranteed two points, how much effort Zagar's putting in, but Ty looks quick. Well, Wolfenden is flying out in front. Very impressive ride indeed. He's on the edge of the dirt. He's into the last lap. Zagar's trying. I'll tell you what, Zagar is trying, but Wolfenden is mighty quick here, and this will settle him down very nicely indeed. Puts him on the scoreboard for the first time this evening after failing to score first time out. Wolfenden out in front. Finally, heat number seven is all over. And we've got two finishers. And uh, the former world champion, Wolfenden, picks up a very useful three points there, Zagar. Be too disappointed. Two points for him. 58.928. Fast winning time, that is. And uh, he'll be chuffed to bits with that. And a ride like that can really boost your confidence when you've got off to a slow start. So two finishes only. Three points for Wolfenden. Zagar back in second place. Two points. The other two lads were excluded. And uh, as I say, we'll see the replay again. But it's all about the start for that man. Really absolutely spot on. And the team are delighted with it. Yeah, I think that's what uh, Ty is going to take away from this race, is just how the bike kept pulling all the way to the corner. That was lacking in his first two efforts. You can see there, the front wheel is in the air by about three or four inches all the way to the corner, and that's a lovely feeling when the bike's doing that. So uh, I think he will go back to the pit lane, talk to his team and say, I think we've found it. I think he'd be happy with that. Yeah, and he looked really impressive. It looked like he was really enjoying the ride, in truth, and the bike was pulling and he was going further and further away. So a handy ride there for Ty Wilford and a confidence-boosting ride. And uh, team on hand, just giving him a pat on the back. So good news for that uh, part of the pit area. Pete Adams is always uh, in his corner, keeping an eye on the, the programme.